the weather outside is frightful, but you want your camper to be toasty and delightful, well, if you have the Aldi heating system and you're finding it's not getting up to temperature quickly, I think I may have found a solution for all of us. Stay tuned in this episode of Travels with Delaney. So if you own one of the tabs that has the Aldi heating system, or any camper for that matter that has the Aldi heating system, or maybe your heating system uh, just doesn't work that well, what we found on our way home from Florida last month with this was we had stopped, and it was about 14 degrees out, and the tab was reading 30 degrees inside, um, and it just does not heat up very quickly. Now, I, so far, I love the Aldi heating system once it gets up to temperature, but if you're going to be doing any cold weather camping, I decided I was going to need something uh, to supplement that, at least initially, to get the temperature in the trailer up. So this morning I'm going to run a test. I'm going to be using the Mr. Heater that I purchased. Um, and I, I didn't buy the small one. I bought the, the next size up. And you're going to see that here in the picture off to the side. But what I'm going to do is run a test with that. And then at the end of the video, I'll talk more about uh, the actual product. So let's run this test. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to check the temperature. It's about 25 degrees out here in Indiana this morning check the temperature of the trailer. Um, we're going to turn the Aldi system on for one hour, come back out, check that temperature again. Then we're going to let the trailer cool back down to the, roughly the same temperature. And then we're going to try the Mr. Buddy heater and see how quickly or what temperature it'll bring it up to in one hour. So let's take a look at where the thermostat currently is in here. All right, we are at 28 degrees on the Aldi system. That's showing what the current temperature is in here. And I'm gonna check the time on my watch and it is 20 till 10 in the morning. So we're gonna come back out at 11. Um, I am running the Aldi on electric at this point. Um, we may run this again on propane, but we'll start with just electric and again, we'll see what happens in one hour. While we'll wait for our test to run, let's go ahead and introduce you to the heating system I purchased. Now, this is from Mr. Heater. These things get really good reviews online, and they do make them in different sizes. There is one that's smaller, uh, the uh, Mr. Heater, I believe it's the Junior, but the way it works is it's just like a heating element that you screw on the top of your propane canister, and my biggest concern with that was how stable it would be, and I think there is a base. Um, but I like this one. The other thing I like about this one is it actually has two heat settings versus the one on the smaller version. And if you need one of these for a larger area like your garage or, or, or something like that, they do make these in, in a bigger size. But we really like this one for the size because it will fit in the dinette storage in our Tab 400. And so a good place to stow it. All right, let's take a look at it. It operates off of the small propane canisters. This is the same canister I use with my Coleman uh, gas stove uh, that I did in last week's video. So I'm gonna be able to carry the same propane canisters. Now we'll only carry this most likely if we go out uh, in the winter months or early spring, late fall. Uh, during the summer, I, even up in Canada this summer, I'm not sure we're gonna need to carry this with us. The Aldi heating system does a great job, as I said earlier, of keeping the trailer um, warm. It's just when you're in those extreme temperatures, it just really takes it a while to heat up. So this is really just a supplement for us. And I kind of liked it because I can use it in the garage here at home when we're not using it on the road. Okay. This one has a handle that also folds down. So I like that a smaller footprint. And for an extra $12, I purchased this carrying bag that it goes into. Um, it's not real heavy, but it will contain everything. And on each side of this, there are mesh pockets. So you could carry an additional two propane tanks. And again, I paid $12 for this. In regards to the heater, um, I didn't purchase this on Amazon. I ended up purchasing it at Menards. And it was basically around the same price. It was $69.99 at Menards, but Menards was running their 11% rebate. So with that 11% coming back, uh, made it a little bit cheaper. But you can pick these up on Amazon, and I will put the links down below, as I always do in the description, so if anybody wants to order one, uh, you could. I have found these in different colors. This is the classic red, but I did find at Tractor Supply they have it in green, and I, I believe I've also seen it in camo. Uh, plastic sides, and the back um, is the metal. What I've found is everything stays really cool to touch except the very front where the heat's coming from. 
Also on the back, there's two places that you could, if you wanted to mount this, like on the wall in a garage or something, uh, you can put a couple screws and it just hangs. So this is a pretty well thought out system. It's really simple to use. Um, you can swing your propane out to install and uninstall and just put it back down when you're ready to use. We just push down and turn to pilot and then we began clicking until the pilot light lights. And you notice it took two clicks and the pilot light is lit. Now I can turn it to low and we'll watch that heating element. You can see the flame coming up and we have instant heat. I mean, it, it literally gets so hot, I can't leave my hand there for very long at all. And then I can take it on up to high. The difference between low and high, 4,000 BTUs, 9,000 BTUs, so over double. Um, but again, I, I mean, literally, that's how hot it gets right there. So if you have pets, if you have children, you're gonna wanna keep them away from this front. Now, it does seem to radiate more at the top than it does here in the front. So we'll probably keep this on the floor and allow that heat to naturally rise in the trailer. Um, I am curious when we go back out to see how the Aldi did and then at the second test will be with this to see how quickly it heats up because it does put off a lot of heat very quickly and I think we're all gonna be surprised at this test and how well this little unit works. Um, and that's basically it. And I can turn it back to the low setting if it's getting too warm and then ultimately I can shut it off. This is indoor safe according to the manual and I've seen a lot of reviews where people say that. Now, in that small trailer, we will keep a vent open while we're running this. We're not gonna run this all night. There's no need to because again, we have the all the heating system. Um, but just for precaution, I am gonna keep a vent cracked while we're running this in the trailer. Now in our Hummingbird, we actually had an electric heater that we would carry with us and I primarily carried that because with when you're in a small trailer and you only have one 20 pound tank, I was concerned about running on um, propane and running out of propane. So last year we were carrying a small electric heater that worked really well. And so as long as we were plugged into shore power. The nice thing about if you're an owner of a tab that has the Aldi heating system, they run both off of electric and propane. So we didn't see a need to have another electric heater, but we really felt like this was the most versatile because now if we are boondocking and it's really cold out, we can we can use this quickly, or even if we're on shore power, this will work, um, but there's no sense carrying both electric and propane. So this is the Mr. Heater Junior Buddy, or I mean, I'm sorry, the Portable Buddy, not the Junior Buddy, the Portable Buddy. and. Tell you what, I think it's almost 20 till 11 now. We're gonna go back outside and we're gonna see how the Aldi heating system did. So come on, let's go. All right, we're back in the tab. It's been one hour since I turned the Aldi on and you can see it's only went up four degrees. We were at 28 degrees and now we're at 32. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the Aldi off and we're gonna, I'm gonna open the door and let it cool back down to 28 degrees in here, and then we'll try round two with the Mr. Heater Portable Buddy. So let's get this thing cooled off. Okay, this is interesting. It's actually a little warmer in here, even with the door open. I don't know if because it's heating up outside, I really wanted to get back down to 28 before we start the Mr. Heater test, but we're gonna go ahead and test. So I think we'll still be able to see and see it just popped up to 34. Um, so I'm going to shut this back off, even though I have, and I'm still trying to learn this Aldi system, you can see that it's showing both propane and electric are off, but for some reason I can hear the glycol running. Um, so not really sure about that, but there you go. It's 34 degrees in here. So we'll use 34 as the base. I'm going to shut that off. So there's no chance the Aldi is putting out any heat. And we're going to light the Mr. Heater down here. All right, it's been one hour. Let's see where we're at. 57 degrees. We started, I believe, at 34. So that is a 23 degree increase in one hour using the Mr. Heater uh, little buddy or portable buddy. So definitely would heat us up and this will be a real test because we have one of these foam toppers. Okay, it's it's still a little solid, but trust me, 57 degrees in an hour. I believe in Kentucky, uh, I think we went from 30 to, well, I don't remember, but I, let's just put it this way. We went to bed, it was very cold in here. Now, when we woke up, the Aldi had us completely warm, but this, this little heater definitely would help you with a small camper. Um, 
get your temperature up quickly or just add a little temperature or possibly, you know, in a, a garage. And the other thing I will mention is I did that on the low setting. So if you put it on the high setting, you're probably going to heat up your trailer much quicker. So there you have it. The Mr. Heater Portable Buddy. Great little heater. Worked really well in the small camper. Going to give it a try in the garage sometime to see how it does there. Probably not going to be quite as efficient. But if you're looking for a small camp or a small heater for your camper just to give it that little extra boost, so far we're really impressed with it. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Uh, we do a new video every Monday. So if you have not subscribed, please make sure you click on that subscribe button and join our channel. We appreciate all the likes, shares, and comments. And as always, we'll see everybody on down the road. Good night.